Okay, what we have here is my fluid bed box and my high banker. Didn't want to spend all the money that some of the manufacturers wanted to have you spend to put one together. So I put this together. A minor friend of mine told me to run my spray bars across this way. Um, this rear spray bar is hitting here. This one's just a little bit before that one and likewise that one and then this one hits right up here. You get a good flow and what that does is it rolls that material if you got a lot of clay and stuff it rolls it before it goes out it creates a wall of water here that's just rolling and then it goes down onto your your punch plate down there which towards the back it's uh, 16 inch holes and I have a piece of that um, that stuff that's supposed to hold a pound of dirt basically just a you know a doormat works great and then miners moss is is just below the <clears throat> the quarter inch punch plate a um, couple of things I did different is I used this you know this the stock keen punch plate Switch to stock keen riffles from the, the sluice box. And what I did with the fluid bed is underneath here, you got a valve and it goes into the, the fluid bed right there. And the idea is most of your bigger gold will be caught up here in the sluice. The idea is, is your finer stuff, you got to oh about probably about 16 to 18 18 inches of slick plate and then uh, this screen here I don't know if you can see how fine that is it's about 16th inch holes maybe close to eighth inch well eighth inch to eighth inch to three sixteenths so and how I got this snapped in here is like this. I just raise this up a little bit, slide the fluid bed out. All I did was make it so it sits right under the miner's boss on top of that mat and it locks in tight so there's no loss there. Um, let's pop the I made this so I can tilt the lid up and you can see down under the grate this fits this butts up right against this so the gap is uh, probably a quarter inch because you want to limit your your uh, flow through the fluid bed to an extent the key is, is when you if you run this kind of setup you you get the flow in your fluid bed box first just like you're going to be running when you go full bore so you know when you go full bore that's already set up for the proper flow and then you just go like gangbusters i haven't tested this configuration yet but i don't see why it won't work i know others um incorporate this kind of thing on their dredge uh, this is just going to be for a high banker unit now 10 inch wide keen sluice box according to keen they want they say it's like a two and a half inch two two and a half inch for this this box well from my experience it'll work just fine for a three inch in fact, I think it works better for a 3 inch than a standard dredge box, crash box style. One of the things I did to uh, minimize plug ups 
and I didn't want anything sticking in the hose when I go to uh, when I go to hook up my three inch high banker so I did like most of us do and I made something may not be pretty but it works and all I did is I took a, a board and just a couple of clamps and just barely cinched it up there so you're not deforming the pipe at all because it's you know it's kind of a rubbery pipe it it's not going to slide now how I hook this thing up is just like this I take this top piece and it slides in just like that so it takes up the gap all the way around it first time I ran this I had so much water blowing out the top it was unreal so you know you you learn and you modify next I take the board Take the board and slip it through. Put your wing nut on. Tighten that up. And what do you know? I have just connected my three inch hose to my header box. Notice there's a third leg down here because if you take that nozzle out of that water, this thing becomes a rocking horse. And first time I did it, I didn't have that leg on there. And well, let's just say it was a vertical. Anyway, I got 20 feet of suction nozzle, or a suction hose, three inch suction nozzle. Uh, the pipe for the fluid bed comes off of a, a Y on my pressure pump. And one other thing I did, it, it drove me nuts always trying to figure out what level was on this thing. So, here's what I did. The little camper, stick on camper levels. Set it to the angle you want at home. In this case, it's one inch per uh, one inch per foot that seems to be about the the best angle for this setup um, I got one here and I got one right there so when I go down there to set up at the river you know that's one less thing I, I don't have to take a level um, I know I get those bubbles set and I go Um, that's it. That's my high banker. Hopefully I'll have some video of it up and running soon. As soon as the darn river gets back down. Anyway, peace out. This is what you can do on the cheap, guys.